Hello friends, welcome to Yogic and Modern Science. In the previous episode, uh, we had talked about how can we define the soul, right? And previous to the previous video, uh, we had started uh, with uh, the, you know, uh, whatever the Krishnamurti has said about uh, the soul and he had left a big question mark, okay, uh, whether uh, it is soul or not okay I mean the common people uh, <coughs> uh, consider uh, the soul to be something which is eternal which is permanent right so uh, J. Krishnamurti uh, raises a question uh, what we are thinking of soul okay is it soul or something else or it is the uh, it is simply the invention of our own mind our own thinking mind you can say and he says whatever we think of uh, the soul about the soul it is still within the range of the thinking mind or within the range of within the field of time and he says uh, the soul is not time bound not space bound it is something which is free of time okay so whatever this mind thinks about time about soul okay that cannot be the intrinsic nature of soul then the following episode uh, we try to clarify what exactly is the soul which jacob's murti had not clarified okay knowingly intentionally right <coughs> now uh, in the present episode okay today uh, I'll be talking about the intrinsic quality or intrinsic nature, you can say, uh, or whatever we can say about soul, right? What are those important things about the soul, right? In the previous episode, I had told you that soul is the pure conscious energy right the conscious energy which is free of everything which is devoid of everything which is just like a void but something alive okay so that free energy is what soul is now what could be two or three qualities of that free energy i want to talk about those two or three things and uh, friends if you know uh, some qualities about the soul that free energy okay you can give your comment in the comment box okay but i would like uh, to clarify uh, on the qualities of soul from the yogic science point of view friends yogic science proposes that the first quality it proposes that the whole cosmos, the whole Brahman, the whole universe is contained in that energy of consciousness, not vice versa. It is not that the universe or any system contains that soul, no, right? Soul is free of all these things. So whatever is there, okay, as a system, as, a, as an imagined system, okay, or whatever is time bound okay it is within that free energy okay so universe is within the soul not vice versa okay soul is not within the universe within the cosmos okay this is the first proposition of yogic science right it is just like uh, you can say a mirror and its images okay image is there in the mirror right not mirror is there inside the image right and you can take the mirror as the soul and image it is producing or image what is being formed okay you can say uh, that it is the universe it is the whole <coughs> cosmos okay so the whole cosmos is within that free energy within that conscious energy okay one thing one point secondly what is the difference between the energy of the soul 
and the energy within the system of the cosmos or within the universe okay and in the universe also in the cosmos also we have so many other systems okay we have galaxies we have planets in the planets okay we have so many types of uh, life system we have uh, plant kingdom animal kingdom human beings and so on okay so there are so many systems and all systems are working okay so generally people think that we are all conscious right because we feel the energy of consciousness okay we can move we can speak we can taste okay all kinds of things okay we can do and it is because of the consciousness in us but there is a difference between the energy of consciousness within the cosmos and energy of that pure soul or the energy of or or the quality of that free energy okay now what is the difference friends the energy of the cosmos or energy of any system within that within the cosmos depends upon three things right it depends upon the experience the experiencer and the act of experiencing or in sanskrit or in hindi uh, you can say drashta drishya or drishti okay these three things or gyata ge and gyan right so the energy of consciousness or the conscious energy is felt or is produced you can say by these three systems okay and everywhere in the whole cosmos okay these three elements are present the experience is there there is experiencer and the act of experiencing okay because of the presence of these three elements these three systems okay the energy we feel is called conscious energy right okay now i am speaking to you okay so this is the experience of me talking to you okay and who is talking me is talking so me is the experiencer okay and whatever i am doing okay i am experiencing it okay and the act is the experiencing the act of experiencing okay so if you look at any system okay you will find these three elements okay so this is about the conscious energy of the cosmos or within all the systems of the cosmos now what about that free energy which does not know anything about the cosmos which is free okay so the quality of that energy is very very different okay because it is free of any doership any doing it is free of the experiencer or the experience or the act of experiencing these three elements are absent in that soul or in that free energy or pure conscious energy okay so this is the second point okay uh, which is proposed by the yogic science thirdly friends what is the difference in the activity of the energy of consciousness within the universe within the cosmos and the activity of that free energy okay what we are calling soul okay there is tremendous difference the main difference is that the conscious energy within the cosmos is time bound it is space bound right it depends upon or it has the feeling of time and space right or you can say uh deeply speaking all the experience time is nothing but experience or mind okay so where there is experience okay there is time okay so energy is time bound actually within the cosmos right and the free energy or the the energy of soul energy of pure consciousness okay that is also active but that energy is not time bound okay its activity is different okay uh, you cannot say it moves from point a to b no right you can say it is 
the activity of the whole right right or it is dynamic in nature okay it, it does not move from point to point but its movement is you can say it is the free movement okay without any restriction without any restriction okay and it does not move from point to point right its movement is it is very difficult to convey in words okay its movement okay but uh, its movement is not time bound okay you can say at the most okay like this so its movement is free of all kinds of limitations all kinds of restrictions okay so yogic science proposes uh, these three you can say qualities of that pure conscious energy right <clears throat> now over to sharma ji and i would like to ask from sharma ji also <coughs> uh, the intrinsic nature of that pure energy or energy of consciousness sharma ji yogic science mein humne teen siddhanton ki baat ki ek to conscious energy hai okay और एक प्रकृति है और मल्टीपल जीवात्मा है जीवात्माएं हैं तो हम सोल की बात कर रहे हैं तो ये हमारा तीसरा एपिसोड है सोल के बारे में जो सोल की जो एनर्जी है जो प्योर एनर्जी है सोल की ठीक है उसके बारे में हम कुछ कह सकते हैं क्या योगिक साइंस की दृष्टि से उसके बारे में क्या कहा जा सकता है योगिक साइंस के माध्यम से अगर हम आत्मा पे या चेतन के बारे में बात करें तो चेतन जहाँ पे तीन सिद्धांत हैं वो तीनों सिद्धांत में अपनी अपनी चेतनता जो है अपनी अपनी उसकी चेतन की सिद्धांत जो हैं चेतन के सिद्धांत हैं वो उसमें सिद्धांतों के तहत सिद्धांतों के आधार से हम उस उस चेतन को हर एंगल से चेतन जानते हैं कोई भी ऐसा एंगल नहीं है उन आ, हम वहाँ पे कि जहाँ आप जिस एंगल से जिस जिस कोण से आप देखें और सुने और उसकी गति को दे गति को समझें उसकी रफ्तार को समझें उसके शब्द को सुने और उसकी उसको देखें कि वो कर हो क्या रहा है ऐसा उन तीन सिद्धांतों में कोई भी ऐसा जगह नहीं है जहाँ से उसमें चेतन की प्रक्रिया ना हो रही हो चेतन का सिद्धांत ना हो रहा हो इसलिए उसको हम आत्मा भी कहते हैं और हम बार बार शास्त्र हमारा चेतन भी कहता है तो ये जो हमने सुनने की और देखने की बात करी है और हमने उसकी रफ्तार की जो बात करी है ये इस पर बात करना मेरा ख्याल समझाने के लिए बहुत मुश्किल बात पड़ेगी शायद आमने सामने रहें तो कुछ टाइम लेने के बाद में कुछ तो समझ में आया आ सकता है मगर एक दस पंद्रह मिनट के एपिसोड में थोड़ा मुश्किल पड़ेगा कि कैसे समझाया जाए तो ये चीज़ थोड़ा यौगिक साइंस के माध्यम से अगर कोई जानना चाहे तो आपके पास कमेंट फोन नंबर भी है कमेंट भी कर सकते हैं तो उन्हें आगे बताया जा सकता है इस विषय में quality of that free energy that uh, the, the the pure consciousness okay uh, cannot be contained within the words okay words cannot convey the true meaning the true nature of that pure energy okay but uh, we can have uh, the realization okay of that energy and only through realization okay we can have a glimpse of it or we can taste it okay but uh, it cannot be expressed in words okay uh, however i have tried to explain uh, the qualities of that free energy okay uh, by giving you three qualities okay uh, as i have ex- already explained okay the whole cosmos okay is within that energy okay not vice versa and that pure energy is free of any experience any experience or any act of experiencing okay and thirdly its activity is quite different from the normal activity of the cosmos okay activity of cosmos are all time and space bound but the activity of pure conscious energy is not time bound okay it is so dynamic you can say okay you cannot measure it it is just measureless okay 
so with these three qualities okay that i have explained to you okay let me conclude okay and in the next episode i'll come up with uh, another topic on the same issue okay soul okay thanks friends